Sagittarius, this is Star's Empress Wisdom with Star Speaking. I'm here today to give you a love reading. Um, this is general, so if it doesn't resonate, that's cool. If it resonates, that's even cooler. Um, and you can like, share, subscribe, or, and or comment. Nice comments, please. But anywho... I love y'all, Sagittarius. Um, I'm going to be going into what your person thinks about you, feels about you, their next moves or intentions, and advice from spirit. If you're new to my page, I use my own playing cards. I find them from different places. I name them according to, you know, their original meanings and stuff. I let them name themselves actually. And I... Um, you know, so here's some of my cards. <laughs> but anywho, let me get started with your love reading. This could be a soulmate, a twin flame, someone from your soul tribe, a friend. But again, this is a love reading. Energy is fluid, so this message may not be for you now. It may be like later into next week or something like that. Youch. Oh. Sagittarius, do you feel deceived by another fire sign? Let's see. Alright, so, um, Sagittarius love. Sagittarius love. Alright, what is your, the person you're thinking about, what is, what are they thinking about you at this time, Sagittarius? Youch. Your person may feel the need to be separate from you at this time. Oh, they do feel like you're their ten of cups, their complete um, happy family. But let's see why they feel like they might want to separate. Oh, but you're following a different path. Maybe you are. Um, there's a new creative endeavor that you're working on right now. And it's making them feel single and lonely. Maybe because you're putting your focus into that, Sagittarius. Yep, so they want to separate, or they're thinking about separating, but they are indecisive. And again, this could be you feeling this way. Maybe you want to separate from your partner or someone so that you can focus on your um, a new creative endeavor that you have, which would be positive for you. Uh, but this is your life partner. That's how they see you. Oh, and this person can be a water sign, a Scorpio, Pisces, or um, Cancer. So this person may feel like you guys need to separate, but this is your life partner. They see you as, as their life partner. And maybe, and their Ten of Cups. Maybe they're just lonely right now with that, with you working on uh, your own stuff right now. Oh. Yep, it came out again. Single and lonely and new uh, new creative endeavor. So maybe your person is just thinking right now that oh, Ten of Cups again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this person obviously feels like you are family. You are their, um, their love. They're trying to think positive about the situation. Oh, but there is some emotional withdrawal either from you or them. Yeah, but they're just dropping the baggage all together because you are a wish come true. So maybe they're thinking about separation or thinking about separating because you're kind of doing your own thing right now. And they feel like there's a block in between you guys, but they still, they, it looks to me like they're going to stay with you either way. So um, regardless of, you know, oh, I, oh, oh. Yeah, they're waiting for good news from you. They're waiting for positive movement. But um, right now, they might just feel a little lonely. Yeah, emotional withdrawal came out again. Maybe they feel like you're just emotionally withdrawn from them and, you know, you're focused on your own thing right now. So let's see what this person feels about you in their heart space. How does Sagittarius person feel about them in their heart space? How does Sagittarius person feel about them in their heart space? Okay, so 
it looks like you may be, um, you could be possibly dealing with a fire sign. Uh, it looks like this person, or this may be a different person, actually. Maybe a third party, uh, but it may not be a third party. It may just be that um, they feel like, yeah, because this is my think there's deception card, but it's not really deception. So they're waiting for you to come back towards them, or you're waiting for them to come back towards you, uh, you know. They may feel like there's some deception, or you may feel like there's some deception, but communication is coming in um, because they feel like you are a positive spiritual connection for them, which is, it looks like that you are a good match for each other. But maybe they feel like you may be lying about something, or they, you know, they may feel like you're lying about something or they may you know you may feel like they're lying about something which causes fighting you know and you can't make a choice Another card yeah and they're conflicted about this situation so the situation between the two of you let's see what their actions are gonna be I'm using my cards this is Wreck-It Ralph and Minnie Mouse <clears throat> what <clears throat> yeah somebody wants to speak up so what actions or intentions are they going to take oh 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 there may be some negative energy because of a fire uh, I'm sorry an air sign woman so there may be a dispute about an air sign woman between you and your partner not sure if that's a third party or it could be um, a family member or something like that in between y'all situation. <clears throat> what moves are, are they going to make towards you, Sagittarius? Right now, they can't sleep. Because, well, okay. Alright. Okay. Devil energy again. Okay. So, it looks like there is some negative situations in here oh yeah stuck in limbo about a painful disapproving love okay so this may be like a family type situation where there's more than one person involved I'm gonna assume that it's uh, you know that it's not a bunch of love partners could be Sagittarius could have uh, a Virgo that you know you're thinking about or they have somebody a Virgo that they're thinking about you know that they can't sleep about it's making them, um, maybe this Virgo is out of control, it's making them feel out of control in this situation. There's an air sign female that's popping up. Two choices is popping up, and a painful loss is popping up. So, um, there might be other people in this situation, air sign, a fire sign, and a Virgo. I think that your person is a fire sign, Sagittarius, and I think that there's a Virgo in... An air sign woman that may be in the way, or not in the way, just basically um, there may be some deception or someone feels like there's deception revol or around these other people and that's causing devil energy within you guys' relationship and it's causing you guys to be stuck in limbo in this situation um, and fearful of the connection because, you know, somebody thinks somebody's lying about you know yep getting lied to somebody feels like they're getting lied to it may be you maybe you feel like you're getting lied to by your partner and you know maybe that's causing a rift between the two of you guys maybe you feel like there is an ex virgo or air sign that they're dealing with or something like that or maybe there's some you know i don't know the situation it could be family in between y'all it could be um, other family members or it could be other people and if it's other people then you know a few other people but anywho let's see yeah this air sign feminine so it could be a male or female this air sign is you know it looks like this air sign is either attached to one of you guys and is being cold and harsh it may be a a child or something like that yeah it may be that you guys are trying to, um, 
it may be a child, it may be um, just someone in the way, a mother or something like that. Or it could be that you guys have um, air in your chart and focused on work and basically being a, you know, you guys are either in a commitment or getting into a commitment. It has been a little bit burdensome, maybe because they want to focus on something, you know, focus on their creative endeavors at this time. But, um, yeah. Someone could have an earth sign moon. Earth sign being Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. So, someone may feel like there's, um, yeah, somebody's going to church about this. I'm not sure if you guys are, if some, one of you guys is religious or not. Maybe one of you guys is religious and the other is not. And the problem is about church, going to church. Um, yeah. This person may feel like, um, you know, they don't want to go to church anymore. It may be you that doesn't feel like going to church anymore and you have some creative event, you know, adventure endeavor <laughs> that you um, want to focus on right now or vice versa. And it's causing some conflict. So it may be like family in the way. It may be choices. It may be like family's like, well, why are you doing this? Why are you leaving the church? You know, and you're just like, well, look. This is best for me. This is the path I'm going on. And your person may feel neglected because of that. So, let's get some advice from Spirit about this whole situation. Sagittarius. Advice for Sagittarius. The universe says go for it. So, if there is a positive um, endeavor for you to go towards, the universe says yes, go for it. It will be positive. And although this may separate you from family for the moment, at least it will, you know, you know, it's, it's your path. Everybody has their own path to go on. It looks like your guardian angel is reaching out to you to say, hey, do this, you know, <laughs> it may, it may confuse some people. Yeah. Again, yes. This is my yes card. Do it. Sagittarius, call out to your angels, your guides, your ancestors, the most high, um, pray, you know, if you pray, meditate, if you meditate, because there, you know, this is a good situation for you, a good business endeavor for you, a good, something creative for you to do. And it may take you away from others and may confuse others, but this is not their path. It's yours. And also you may need to slow down a little bit, slow down. Um, you know, just slow down. Don't be so, um, overly anxious about the whole situation because there's no reason to be confused. The universe says go for it twice and yeah, and you got yes and all types of stuff. So look, just go for it. You know, everything else will work itself out as far as, you know, family and, and other people that's in your situation. Like that will work itself out as long as you're following your purpose and your path, you know, everything else will, um, you know, if they're in a, if things if things people places are in alignment with you, they will move with you. If they are not in alignment with you and your life purpose, they will be out of you know the the situation, and that's kind of how it goes. Um, either way, you have something going for you. It looks like you're moving towards your life purpose, your life path. That's awesome. Stick to that. Um, all this, you know, if there's any drama within family and things like that, you know, it's more than likely that you should stay out of it and focus on what you have going on. But again, that could be taking away um, from an important relationship that you have in your life. So make sure that you're not just focused on that and putting some, you know, speak up if you need to and let that person know that, you know, this is what you want to do. And if they are, if they love you, then they'll, you know, ride with you. If that, yeah, you know, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Either way, I love y'all Sagittarius. I hope things work out for y'all. Good luck. Till next time.